Fuck up! Fuck up! Well, what are you? What are you doing, Sorry. bro? You in my way? You in my way, bro? You in my way? You ran right in. Hey, what's up, guys? You know you like my videos. Hit that like and subscribe button down there. What's going on, guys? So we were at the Golden Gate Bridge yesterday at a, a march with the Trump flags. And um, I filmed everybody walking across and then I was waiting for everybody to come back so I could film them coming back over. When all of a sudden um, I got interested, I'm like, well, where the heck are they? It was taking forever. So I go and I, I pop up Ben's live it film so I can see where he's at. And there's this Antifa guy just chirping in his, in his ear and, and spitting on his face. Back! Get out of my, get out of my face, bro. And then there's a shorter, chubbier one that's just like nonstop F you and like starting fights. And it looked like somebody got in a fight. And all of a sudden I, I'm like, you know what? I gotta go. I gotta go help. So I took my scooter, I hauled Bud over there. All right guys, so Antifa, I was just watching Ben's live stream and Antifa showed up. So I wanna go get in there and see what I can do. You see Antifa's going after Ben. Huh? Antifa's up back here. Are they still messing with Ben over here? Yeah. All right, I gotta go get them. Probably took me a good minute to get there. That's how far away they were. And I see the, I see Colin Kaepernick, but you know, I didn't see as much him doing all the talking as the other guy. And I'm going down the middle and the guy's not looking. And I just, I'm like, you know what? Here's my chance. And I just plowed right into him and pushed him up against the, uh, against the bridge. Where are these punks at? Oh, there they are. There they are. Hey, it's a wannabe Colin Kaepernick. Fuck up! Fuck up! Hey, I'm sorry. What are you doing, sorry. bro? You're in my way. Sorry, You're in my bro. way, bro. You're yeah. in my way. You ran right in. Right. Sorry, bro. And every time I said sorry, I hit the gas. You saw that, right? You see that? Yeah. That's assault. That was assault. That's 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 assault. You jumped right into my way. And uh, actually, if you hear the police officer, he says, uh, will you stop moving your cart or something like that? And I put my arm out like this so the guy can't move anymore. Because basically, he was attacking my friends. And I felt it was my job to stand up and stop it. Because you know what? It's good for a while. But then it's not good anymore. So, uh, Antifa, I'm not afraid of you. And that's uh, that's the word of the day, guys. Don't be afraid of these Antifa thugs. Because if you run away and you let them do this, they're going to continue to do this. Look at Portland. Everybody's afraid of them up there. Do you want that to happen in every single city? Do you want them coming to your city and doing that to you? I don't think so. So we better stand up now before it gets too big. Now, I'm not telling you to go out there and beat up people, but don't run away from them. Don't let them do this to you. I'm a guy in a scooter, and people are going to say, oh, he thinks because he's in a wheelchair that he's not going to get hit. I see these people attacking old people. I know that they're going to hit me, but I'm not afraid because I'd rather die for my freedom than to let these guys overtake me. My dad served in the Air Force. My stepdad served in the Air Force. My uncle was in the army in, in Amsterdam and was a brigadier general. My whole family stood up for their country. Because I was born with a disability, I'm not allowed to. So you know how I do it? By making these videos and showing you what the left is doing. Don't let them do it. Stand up, America. Stand up.